Every time I see a recession happen or a economic downturn, a lot of people ask the question, Patrick, how can I take advantage of a time like this? The average American right now is living paycheck to paycheck. In fact, it's said over 60% of Americans are currently living paycheck to paycheck. Out of every 10 listeners to this video, six of you are not making the money that you hopefully want to make. But you understand, look at the videos. Look at the views of my videos or anybody's videos. Over 60% of people. So if you have a video with 100,000 views, 60,000 people are broke. And I made a goal at the beginning of this year. I want to help more 18 to 30 year olds get ahead. That is my demographic. If you are in the ages of 18 to 30 years old, you are my demographic. Not saying that if you're 35, 40, 45, 50, that this information can't help you. But first understand the majority of people listening to this don't have a whole lot of money and that's okay. We all started there. So as you come to the realization that most people listen to this video, maybe don't have what they want to have. I want to first start by saying this, quit watching Netflix, quit playing video games. This is not that cliche thing. Quit. We are at the highest level of inflation since 1981. The Fed funds rate, which is the interest rates, are increasing at the fastest pace in history. Our treasury yield curve looks worse than any other time in history. We have to understand that right now is a time of opportunity. More millionaires are made than ever before in a recession. You have to understand that and you have to say, I have to buckle down for the next year to gain enough revenue and income to put enough money in my pocket so I have enough to deploy to catapult. The second part of this preface is believe that you can. Understand that if a kid like me, that's 26 years old on YouTube, sharing his story, can come from a city, blue collar place, 30,000 people, median income under $25,000, can do it, you can too. And the third thing is understanding your strengths and your weaknesses. You must analyze yourself with a SWOT report. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for your own life. Write those down in a four square report. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And take your life into a financial scorecard so you understand where you're at and where you're going. So now what I would like to do with you guys is give you some steps. Some steps forward to take advantage of this time as a person that maybe isn't where they wanna be financially. Step one is the biggest step. You have to work harder than everybody around you, your competition. Now, right now you're doing your studies, you're learning how can I get ahead, but you have to go out there and deploy this. You have to go out there and work harder than everybody else. When I was 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, doesn't matter, all the way up to 26, I can tell you one thing. I did not have the time to go and do those vacations with my friends. I did not have the time to go take some time where I didn't have to have my phone near me or my laptop near me. I was always working. Even when I went on holiday, even when it was Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter, I still had my phone, still answering emails, still taking calls. You guys have to understand you have to work harder than your competition to get ahead. Number two, you have to find your skill set. Some of you guys are analytically very sound. You're good at math. Some of you guys are great at research. Some of you guys are great at public speaking. Some of you are phenomenal at typing and English and marketing and copywriting. You must figure out what is my strength because once you do that, we're gonna curate a plan around what you need to do in order to catapult that and compound those efforts forward. Step three is arguably the second most important step along with our first step, which is outworking competition. And this is your network. Now I can attest to this and people that are around me can attest to this. The most important part of my personal success is not what I know. I have a bachelor's degree in marketing and I promise you I didn't get to the point in my life where I'm currently at by having a bachelor's degree in marketing. I got to where I'm at because of my circle. They say this cliche saying, your network is your net worth. And you will get ahead and where you wanna be based off of the people around you. Get around people that do more than you. They know more than you, they make more than you. Try to figure out how to do that. Now my tip for doing that is networking events. Never before have you been in a room of people that all want what you want. They want the goals that you want. They want the life that you want. And also in that same room are people that have what you want. Your network is so important to getting ahead right now. Step four is understanding the value of your time. Now this is crucial. A lot of people don't value their time enough. There's an opportunity cost associated with your time. What I mean by that is there's an opportunity cost 
with spending time on Netflix versus going and researching how to market online or how to create ads or how to trade or how to sell solar, whatever the business is, there's an opportunity cost. Every moment that you're not progressing right now is actually costing you money, even though it might not be being taken out of your bank account. Second part of time is compounding. Every moment you spend getting better at your craft, working on your craft, you're gonna get better towards that and you're gonna also compound that time into more knowledge, which is just no different than compound interest and investments. Step number six is get good at what you're good at. Let's take, for example, you're really good at talking to people. You're a good communicator. You're probably good at sales. You have to become very good at sales. You have to figure out what you're good at and now you have to get good at what you're good at for instance if you're really good at public speaking or really good at communicating go communicate more if you're really good at typing go type more right now so you can become the best in your space so you now have something so valuable that you can go and accelerate that and make money off of that and the final step, which is intentionally last, is find a mentor. Now, mentors come in multiple ways. I have mentors in my life that I haven't paid a dime. I have mentors in my life that I pay $350 an hour to talk to. So there's different types of mentors in your life. But your goal is to go find somebody that has something that you want. This isn't just money, guys. You might have a person in your life that you want to teach you about have a great marriage. That's a mentor that might not necessarily charge you for that information or knowledge, but you're gonna go and model your life after them. That's important. So go out there and find a mentor, somebody that can guide you through these ebbs and flows of life. These are the things you need to hone in on. These are the things right now, in a time where more people will become millionaires, you can too. And in these series, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to get yourself to the next level and hone in on these skills and tricks so that you can make some money off of this next recession. So with that said, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, you got some knowledge out of it, of course, click that like button. Click the subscribe button with that little notification bell so you get notified in your alerts every time I post a video. And we'll see you on the next video.